Welcome to a new video. Today we're taking a look at Dragon Quest Heroes 2 and whether you should be hyped for the game and if you should potentially buy it or not. As the name suggests, the game is a sequel to Dragon Quest Heroes, which didn't actually release all that long ago. Only a year and a half ago in October of 2015, the game scored a respectable 77% on Metacritic and I myself fairly enjoyed it. Dragon Quest Heroes 2 releases on PS4 on April 25th in the US and April 28th in Europe, as well as PC on April 25th worldwide. The Nintendo Switch also sees a unique bundle of Dragon Quest Heroes 1 and 2 together, which is currently out in Japan and should make it to the West at some point, although no release date has been given as of yet. Dragon Quest Heroes is the culmination of Dragon Quest, the long-running JRPG series that's been around ever since 1986, and Dynasty Warriors, the Chinese hack and slash series revolving around the Three Kingdoms that spawned a ton of sequels and fusion spin-offs, such as Hyrule Warriors that released on the Wii U a couple of years ago, One Piece Pirate Warriors 3, and finally releasing sometime on the Nintendo Switch, Fire Emblem Warriors. For those that aren't aware, Akira Toriyama, who you most likely know for his creation and work on the Dragon Ball series, is also the character designer for Dragon Quest, and designed many of the characters for the game, which is why you'll see many in the game that bear his iconic art style and resemblance to Dragon Ball characters. If you're looking at Dragon Quest Heroes 2, don't expect a traditional JRPG. The game is essentially a Dynasty Warriors game at heart, meaning you'll be hacking and slashing through enemies and tossing up the numbers. With that said, there are still light RPG elements, and more so than the previous game. These Dynasty Warriors spin-offs are kind of weird in the sense that just because you like Dragon Quest or Dynasty Warriors doesn't necessarily mean you'll like Dragon Quest Heroes. It'll help of course, but don't just assume you'll enjoy it based on that alone. Dragon Quest Heroes 2 has its own story and unique main character. In fact, you're given the choice between a girl or boy, much like the first game with the option you don't choose becoming a party member. You also run into plenty of familiar characters from all the past games that will join your roster as you go through the story that you'll no doubt recognise with a sequel introducing many more such as Gabo from Dragon Quest 7 or Tornico from 4 that I may add are completely playable for you to switch between and control directly yourself. If the story is anything like the first game, it'll be a light-hearted adventure that doesn't take itself too seriously and gives just enough excuse to drive the campaign mode forward. Personally, despite it not being too deep, I actually enjoyed the first game's story and the cutscenes were well animated and enjoyable to watch. Dragon Quest Heroes 2 doesn't radically change things too much. It looks a little graphically nicer as you might expect and streamlines the gameplay a little, but it does introduce a few new additions the first didn't have that are very much welcomed. The first being an open world. Instead of simply having a hub world where you enter small areas for each level, you'll have a whole world to explore, although some areas will be blocked off until you proceed with the story. You'll travel the world exclusively on foot, however you'll discover warp stones you can activate, which will allow you to fast travel to other stones you've found. Secondly, there is online co-op, you can play with one other through the entire story which is nice, and up to four in something called the Time Labyrinth, which are essentially our online specific missions. The last new main addition is the main character you pick now has classes, giving you the freedom to choose which type of weapon they can use, and also the potential skills they can unlock, meaning you're not shoehorned into a particular playstyle like you were in the first game if you wanted to play as the main character alone. The main issue I found personally with the first game was its repetition in terms of its gameplay and game design. I found the moveset was quite limited, so I felt I was pretty much just mashing the same moves over and over, which if you played a Dynasty Warriors game, isn't really all that much of a surprise as that's typically the nature of these games. The main issue with the game design being that you would do way too many protect area, items or person types of missions to the point where it would just be really overkilled and become quite a slog after a while. The ability to change classes of the main character should alleviate somewhat the repetition of moves and keep things feeling more fresh. And although I can't confirm it, it does appear there is less in the way of overdone mission types this time around, which is good to hear as those were my two biggest complaints. So should you be interested in Dragon Quest Heroes 2? If you played the first game and enjoyed it, then it's a no-brainer. Dragon Quest Heroes 2 may be more the same in many regards, but it appears to make several improvements that make the sequel more enjoyable and less repetitive. That along with the addition of playing the story and online specific missions with friends should add some needed longevity. If you don't mind a bit of repetition and a fun, light-hearted whimsical story, then the game is probably worth checking out. But like with any Dynasty Warriors game, you'll either love it or hate it. With that said, there is actually a demo out on the PS4 store for you to try out. It's a rare occasion these days we get demos, but definitely worth giving a go to see if it's a game you'll enjoy and should give you a good impression of its quality. That's it for today. Let me know if this video has helped you in your decision to pick up this game or not. Click the thumbnail on the left to watch the last episode or the one on the right to watch another of my previous videos. 
leave a like and sub if you enjoyed the video, be sure to follow me on Twitter for updates on the channel, thanks for watching as usual and I'll see you on the next video.